everybody. I am Dr. Mukti Harne Paitankar, Consultant Obstetric and Gynecology at Manipal Hospital, Gurgaon. Today we will be talking about endometriosis and the reason we need to discuss this because the prevalence is around 6 to 10 percent. That is in a group of 10 women, around 1 to 2 women are suffering from endometriosis. The term endometriosis means lining of the uterus present outside the uterus. That is, the uterus has an inner lining called as endometrium. Now, these endometrium cells, when present outside the uterus, they act exactly like the endometrium. Like in every cycle, the uterus is preparing itself for a childbirth. It is preparing itself for a baby. And when it doesn't happen, it sheds in the form of menstrual cycle. These cells, which are present outside the uterus, the endometrial cells, they also act like the endometrium and they swell or form a cyst or they irritate the peritoneum causing pain. There are few studies or few uh, theories that explains endometrium. Few of them are retrograde menstruation, lymphatic drainage, vascular spread or uh, silomic metaplasia. Now these are all uh, theories which explains endometrium but particular cause is unknown. What are the risk factors or predisposing factors for endometrium? One of them is um, if the family history is having a positive history for endometriosis, it runs in the family and the female is exposed for endometriosis. Also, if the female is exposed to high estrogen level or high estrogen therapy. Now, there are some symptoms that the presentation uh, with the female presents with. Number one is dysmenorrhea. That is, she has a lot of pain during menstrual, uh, menstrual cycle. Then dyspareunia, that is painful intercourse, dysuria, that is pain during passing urine, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, that is it, she has an abnormal cycle or irregular cycle, that is she is bleeding in between two cycles. So and the most common is this uh, chronic pelvic pain, that is she has pain in her lower abdomen even if she has been treated for infections. Now, according to the signs, there are also correlating uh, symptoms and signs that we see. The most common is the ovarian endometrioma or cyst over the ovary. Now, this cyst has collection of chocolate colored fluid, which is also called as chocolate cyst. Along with the signs and symptoms, we come to a diagnosis of endometriosis, which is confirmed by imaging. Some imaging like ultrasounds and MRI gives a better picture of what is going inside the body. But the diagnostic or the gold standard is a laparoscopic surgery in which we put a probe inside the abdomen just to see where the other lesions are present of the endometrium which emits as endometriosis. The, according to the signs and symptoms, we divide the uh, diagnosis into minimal, mild, moderate and severe. Now the treatment that we give the patient depends on medical management and a surgical management. Not all patients require surgical intervention. The ones requiring uh, medical management fall in the, for, in the category of minimum to mild uh, endometriosis. Now these have a, a lesion, size lesion is less than 4 cm and have a fewer symptoms. Medical management include hormonal therapy which is in the form of progesterones, estrogen and com uh, progesterone as a combination and gonadotropin releasing hormone as a combination. Now this can be given together or separately depending upon patient to patient. If the size of the lesion is more than 4 to 5 centimeters then we have a surgical intervention. Surgical in intervention means we remove the cyst or the endometrioma or any other form of lesion that mimics the endometrium that is done by either ablation or some simply doing a cystectomy. Uh, what are the take-home messages in endometriosis? Well, if there is a family history of endometriosis, then the childbirth should not be prolonged. Family planning should be done uh, earlier in life. Second, there should not be a PV examination or pelvic examination during menstruation. And thirdly, there should not be over overuse or abuse of hormones taken orally. Well, the need of governing and awareness of this uh, disease is required 
to decrease the prevalence. Thank you.